did. So, should I start? Where, where's the camera? Where am I looking? The camera is right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're in a different way. <laughs> you can start. Okay. But... Hi, everyone. I'm Becky. I'm Sarah. And we are kind of doing a Big Green Books reveal. But we're totally in a new location. We are. And this is not tell. a green screen. This is a real. No, this is for real. This is real. This, this is, is real, real life. This right is there. This is real life, folks. <laughs> and we are just here to share thoughts because we literally, in the last 20 minutes, left an author event that we were very excited to go to. Um, we saw Kwame Alexander, who, fun. the Newbery Award winner who wrote the book The Crossover. Um, we saw him speak, and we just wanted to share some thoughts we had about it with everybody out there. It's true. So, um, first of all, people who don't know who Kwame Alexander is, he wrote The Crossover, won the Newbery Carter Scott King Award. He wrote... Um, Booked. Booked. He wrote, he has a new book out that I can't remember, Playbook, which I'm going to order from the library as soon as I get mm -hmm. home. It looks very good. It looks a lot like uh, the 365 precepts that they did for Wonder. It, it it's does very, like, kind of that. along that line of it. Um, I did not know that he wrote picture books. That was exciting. I didn't that either. was something that we learned. Uh, well, and I, the thing is, I've read those I've picture read, books. I've read, and they're great picture books. He wrote The Acoustic Rooster, which I love. Right. But he and well, that frog one. Like he wrote a frog book too, and that looks really good. That looks cool. really good too. And um anybody who gets the opportunity to go see him, you should totally go see him because he just engaged the kids so incredibly. He definitely did. And he talked about not wanting to be a reader and how he became a reader. And that was just this incredible idea to tell children that you don't have to love books every second of every day. Well, and what I really kind of liked was that um do we need to stop? No. We're using different kinds of computers today. <laughs> Yay, technology. Um, what I liked was his don't give up, kind of don't that accept was no, great. To, the always get yeses. And it's like, I feel like that is such a universal kind of concept that it's perfect for the young kids that he was talking to, but also just like hearing it as an adult. Like, he was told no by 18 different publishers. For that folks his, that won the Newberry. That, yeah, the, yeah, the crossover was not good enough to be published, no. and then he self-publishes it. Somebody picks him up, and here he is, Newberry winner. I mean, this book is one that I give kids all the time. Yeah. It is a boy book that's written in verse. It's not long, so you're like, hey, here's a short book. But it's a you're sports love book it. that you don't have to know about sport. Well, and it, yeah. That's so it's, the great thing. It covers so many. It does everything so well in it's, that regard. It's just it's so good, and... No, I love that. And it's also, like, as an adult going to see him as somebody who sometimes likes to write, he talks about you don't give up on your writing. You were just able to keep going. And like you said, 18 rejections. And he was talking about how he couldn't make a living even though he had 11 books out and he still wasn't making a good living. Yeah. And then he just kept trying. And he was selling books at farmer's markets, which was incredible. He was selling a lot at farmer's markets. He was selling markets. a lot of books at farmer's markets. I've never gone to a farmer's market and been like, hey, there's an award-winning author. But apparently I'm going to the wrong ones. I don't know. Obviously. Apparently. <laughs> uh, what I thought was really cool was the he had a guy there with him who was playing the guitar. So they were kind of working together, and Kwame was using the guitarist to kind of keep rhythm of his poems. And it, like, really kind of brought his poems from the book home, I thought. Well, and he does a really good job in his books, and seeing him do it in person was even better. Like, making poetry accessible to children, which was just incredible. Yeah, because there was he had some audience participation and, and was kind of really encouraging the kids like, to get involved. every kid in the room wanted to volunteer. That was awesome. Like, there were all these kids that were like, please call on me. And then he had the kid come down at the end and, like, had them do this poem, and then he gave him a copy of the new book, which I just thought was wonderful. So I was super nervous about that, though, just because... I mean, you don't really know what the reading level is of this That's random true. kid, and he's having this kid read a like read from a book in front of everyone. But his I was so it was an easy poem. I mean, yeah, but you don't know. That's I mean, true. it worked out fine, and it wasn't an issue. But I mean, just like as the educator, like in me, I'm just like, oh my gosh, yeah. I, it it was nerve wracking there for a second. Um, and it's kind of to wrap up. Or do you have more to say? No, no, let's wrap up. Um, so he had some exciting news when, during his presentation. Um, he was talking about how he is currently working on a book, which name I can't remember, that's going to be... Solo. No, I was the sequel to The Crossover. Oh, uh, no, I don't think he ever said that. It's actually he? a prequel to The Crossover. He's oh, currently he, writing when, it. He, he said it was, on, he said it was on page 76. 
he talked about how he's writing. He writes at Panera, which I think is funny. I know, that is Panera so cool. The it's like well, where we hit. Well, like, right now, he's writing wherever. Like, yeah, but he's but like, yeah, he's like he, I write at Panera. He writes at Panera on Microsoft Word. Yes. Um, but, so he's writing a prequel about the dad from the crossover, which he says he's on page 76. That's coming out soon. And then in August, he's writing a YA book, which is totally exciting because he never does that. He always writes middle grade, so I'm sure we will revisit that. Well, no, he's got, I mean, he's got some YA out there, but, I think most but I'm of it's, excited. Most of it's middle grade. Middle grade or younger, even, yeah. yeah. All right, so this is our quick special feature, special edition feature. So nice seeing you, and you can read the rest of it on our blog. So hope to see you there. Bye. Bye.